This is Castle Shooting Club, one of Britain's many clay pigeon shooting sites. Not many people consider shooting a sport, but it is in fact the least discriminating sport in the world on the grounds of race, gender, age and disability. It's not changed much over the years, except real birds have been replaced with clay pigeons and the guns are far safer to use. Older shooting sports were often a form of hunting, where wildlife was the target. You take safety, enjoyment, and if you break some targets, then that's a bonus. Clay pigeon Ooh. shooting has a great emphasis on safety, and its safety record is second to none. So why does it have a bad image? He said that there was a man running about with a shotgun. A local man, armed with shotguns, murdered 12 people injured 25 others. And uh, I understand a shotgun has been found at the scene. Went on the rampage with the shotgun and then killed himself. Police say at least five are dead. Many more are injured. I think normally you see the only thing the press gets, they like to spread bad news. Not very often they spread good news because that's not what papers and whatever like. Uh, news is usually bad. If, You've only got to look at it to find out. Well, these are the uh, clay pin shooting people. They are about the most responsible people that you'll meet. Uh, because, like I say, we have to be very careful. Pull! You're extremely unlikely to be killed by a legally owned gun. Clay pigeon shooting has always attracted an older audience who have grown up around guns and most of these people have been shooting for many years. 80% of the people who go shooting are 45 or over. The smallest group is of 18 to 25 which contribute to less than 5%. 26 to 44 is still a small group with only 16%. Although the sport is growing its biggest issue is to appeal to young people. Well, I've always been interested in guns and uh, I think it's important that you learn safely about uh, guns regarding just doing it on your own thing. And the fact is that it's very dangerous to have, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Steph. Oh. It, the gun lay in the cabinet for a long while and um, it just got to this point and my dad actually, I just, my dad actually said to me one day, um, are you going to take this gun on or shall I get rid of it? I've oh, been shooting virtually all my life, going on farms, my dad used to work on a farm. I've shot since so, uh, at school. I left in the when I left the TA, you know, I thought, I mean, I've been left at TA for some years. And I come up here one Sunday for lunch, and my missus says to David about, about it, just by accident, and that were it. That's what started it. How did I get into shooting? Oh, a friend of mine introduced me to it, 1984. At Castle Shooting Club, there is rarely more than three people that are between 18 and 25. This could suggest the club 
is out of touch. I mean, most kids nowadays, all they want to do is sit in front of a television with a little game console on the, on the lap, or a laptop, or whatever. Going to food is just like... It's cost, isn't it? That's purely a unless lot of it's down to cost, isn't it? Unless you've got a deaf granddad. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> costs are rising all the while, isn't it? You buy yourself a gun and... That's not it, is it? You're not finished, are you? It's a soon as Tapper tell me play with the uh, computers. It's too much trouble, basically. It's too much trouble to get up in the morning. Probably cost or lack of knowledge where they live. If there's no shooting ground local, I don't know. The noise produced by the guns can be heard several miles away, which can contribute to noise pollution and have an effect on the local community. Um, that's, well, where it's based, I suppose there might be a noise problem, but normally um, it's like in the countryside, maybe set a bit away from rural areas and, well, so I won't say it caused a problem to surrounding people and areas, I suppose. Um, yeah, overall, good hobby and yeah. As long as it's out way and not in the city centres, you're fine, aren't you? You expect that sort of noise being living in country. Whoa! Must be now, I'm afraid it's I think if it affects people, then they've got a right to complain about it. But the people who run the shoot have also got a responsibility to make sure that it's as quiet as possible for the people who live in the surrounding areas. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. I think it's quite good. I enjoyed it when I did it. It's what you expect in countryside, isn't it? People with guns. Absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. all, the, all they are, are people, it's like these people are, they don't want to do it, so they don't think anybody else should do it. And there's no no reason at all why it should be banned or people should stop it. They're doing no harm. It's, it's, it's been a country pastime for hundreds of years ever since they've been shooting. It's just the people, as you say, they don't want to do it, so they don't think anybody else should. So like people who go and buy a house next door to a railway line and complain about trains, it's just ridiculous. You see that one, that shot? I mean, you've only got the kids again, they're always playing loud music. You get a young, young youth in a car, first thing he's got is the bloody bass going on the, on the uh, whatever he's using. So all you can hear is boom, 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 throwing that thing. This only lasts for a couple of hours. One day in never 14, so I don't think it does. Particularly. No. No noise in a motorbike, is it? Not necessarily because it's done in designated areas where you're not affecting many people or if any people at all. As we governed not to start before 10 a.m., which we never do, it's not as though we're shooting un unsociable hours. It is in fact easy to get involved in the sport and the majority of members are surprisingly encouraging more young people to get involved. G-A-M-I-I-E I'll do winter. That's Paul Prime's brother. He's a guest. It's better to be invited and involved with somebody who knows, uh, somebody who shoots regular. Uh, go to an established club and 
get proper tuition. I think a lot of young people go shooting if they've got a relative or an adult friend who, who initiates their involvement in shooting. I don't think if, if a relative, if a parent or a close friend has got no interest in shooting whatsoever then I think it would be very difficult for the youngster to just decide he wants to go shooting if the parent isn't going to be interested in pushing them in that direction. But I think if they've got a parent that shoots, it makes it a lot easier for them to get into it. I don't think there's any shooting grounds anywhere who will turn youngsters away, so you know you can't go and never go. We always encourage them. They all encourage it. Um, but you can go along to shooting grounds like, uh, like us. Uh, not, we've gone slightly better than the normal shooting club. Uh, because shooting clubs are just a group of people getting together to enjoy a, a bit of a pastime. If you go to a shooting ground, they are normally covered for taking uh, people like you or me that's straight off the street who's never shot before uh, because they take out the insurance and all this kind of stuff that, uh, that they need to cover themselves. They'll um, loan you the gun, cartridges, I mean obviously you're paying for it but you, you sort of hire the gun a bit and he's standing there he, he guides, he shows you what to do, um, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. And that will allow you to have a go. I mean, you can go along as many times as you like. The media will always show these people negatively, but the truth is they are a close group of friends who come to enjoy a historic sport that is recognised as being safe and enjoyable. <laughs> it's a good healthy sport that's not too costly once you've set up similar to fishing. It gets you outdoors and seeing meeting other people. This club represents the shooting community that is growing across Britain. Any shooting, any sort of shooting, they've got to they've got to have a go themselves. It's a good it can be a very good sport shooting your anxiety and stress. I mean there's nothing better than seeing a little object drop dropping into dust with you. After you've hit it, you say, oh, yes! <laughs>